I actually really like what Atari is doing here. The 2600 Plus came out a while back and I thought it was a neat idea. I've done a few videos on it. Now I know this isn't going to be for everyone, but there's no denying Atari's place in gaming history. And I really dig what they're doing and how they're continuing to expand on it. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. But at the same time, I do recognize, like I said, it's not gonna be for everyone. I still think, and my you know highest recommendation for somebody wanting to you know take a look at Atari, the history of gaming, is to grab the Atari 50th anniversary celebration. Really like a $30 game, has over 100 games built in, awesome documentaries, behind the scenes stuff. This is well worth it, one of my highest recommendations. But I still think this is really cool. And they've expanded upon this. So the 2600 Plus, we've done a few videos taking a look at the games they released, They're just unboxing it and stuff. And I, I think it's neat, um, but it plays 2600 cartridges, 7800 cartridges, and they released a wave of games in the beginning, Mr. Run and Jump, uh, Berserk, the paddle games, and I thought that was kind of cool, but they're taking it further now. So as you can see here, we have the CX78 Plus gamepad. I wasn't familiar with this gamepad, but I was like... What's going on? So let me take a look. Now, they have some other stuff that they just put up. We're going to quickly go through this. But the CX78 Plus gamepad's 25 bucks. It's based on the gamepad game that was included with the European version of the 7800 released in 1987. So already your 2600 Plus, if you have one, you can play you know 7800 games. So this is nice that, boom, there's a new controller that you can get along with the system for your 7800 games, because it plays original cartridges, right? So so that's really cool. Two buttons allows you to play 7800 games, removable thumbstick allowing you to play two different ways, and a five foot cord. Yeah, these are not wireless controllers. You're playing old school style. But there's the controller, the two buttons, the D-pad, and then uh, another view, and then there's the box. So 25 bucks, not not too bad. An interesting uh, you know, add-on. So let's take a look at what else they put up. So they also have the paddle controllers up for pre-order, but if you bought the paddle game bundle for 40 bucks, it came with a, you know the paddle controllers. Uh, that setup is sold out on the Atari website, but still available on Amazon. But this is what really intrigued me here because the 7800 is what really, you know, took Atari beyond, right? 2600 was kind of neat and cool, but 7800, the graphics were better, the gameplay, this is awesome. So you got three games that they have up for pre-order. I'm really digging the idea of officially re-releasing retro games. And I know Atari's done these weird little things in the past where it'd be like a $100 cartridge. This is like more mainstream. This is more accessible to people. Instead of $100 for one game, it's, you know, you can get three games for a hundred bucks. These are $30 each. And I already know some people will be like, oh man, it's too expensive for a game like, you know, 30, 40 years old. Uh, sure. Sure. I mean, we could, we could argue all day that everything's too expensive because it is. Yeah. I wish these were $20. No, I wish they were $10. They should be. Everybody's going to have an opinion, but I think at the $30 price point, it ain't breaking the bank for people who are really into this. So let's quickly take a look at these games. Fatal Run, 7,800. The one, my one complaint so far, and from, you know, I do have some of the cartridges. So this was from the first wave of games, the four and one paddle games, right? And then uh, they also had Mr. Run Jump and uh, Berserk. Oh yeah, this box is green. So my green screen is going to chroma key it out. But uh, my one complaint with this stuff, and it looks like it's going to be the same with the 7800 games that they re-release, is no manuals. I think this is freaking awesome to be able to go back in time and get an official re-release cartridge from, you know, a, a company like Atari, be able to open it up, use that game and play it. But I want to relive the original experience to have manuals. So why don't we have manuals? None of these came with manuals. So... I'm assuming since they don't show manuals in the picture here, that these aren't coming with them either. But $30 for Fatal Run. Maybe it says in the, the details. We'll take a look. Our package content. So Fatal Run's a challenging, futuristic battle racer that demands nerves of steel and Grand Prix driving skills. Use shops to upgrade your car, obtain more powerful weapons. 
The 7800 version of Fatal Run features rich 16-bit graphics and deeper gameplay than its 2600 counterpart. Yeah, the 7800 version of these games are freaking awesome, dude. So product details, you get a game cartridge playable on the 2600 Plus and original hardware. Contents, just cartridge. So yeah, it doesn't say that it comes with a manual, unfortunately. Uh, but this is, I, I, I'm i digging, I'm digging this idea of officially re-releasing stuff like this. But okay, so you had Fatal Run, Food Fight, one of my all-time favorites. I love Food Fight and get being able to buy the 78. I was going to buy like a used copy of this game and it was like going for a bit more than what I was willing to pay. So I was like, screw it. I'm not going to, because I wanted it to, you know, because I didn't have any 7,800 games to play on my 2,600 plus when I did my video. Um, so I was looking like, oh, let me buy Food Fight. That's one of my favorites. And I looked at the, I was like, forget it, dude. Forget it. But to get a new cartridge for 30 bucks, minus a manual, bastards. Okay, I, I think I'm down in it. But I love this game. It's very simple. Based on the Atari arcade game, Food Fight's a uh, frenetic, fast-paced game that will keep you coming back for seconds. Battle up the four different chefs as you race to collect the ice cream cone before it melts. So that, that that's what this game was. It, it starts out pretty simple. You're running around, grabbing food, throwing it at these stupid chefs that are popping up, throwing food at you. You got to get to the other side of the screen to eat the ice cream. It gets pretty crazy the further you get, but it, it was it was an addicting arcade game. I played this quite a bit, probably one of my top played Atari games. So to be able to have the chance to buy the cartridge for 30 bucks, sure, I, I'm going to get it. We're going to review all this stuff when it comes out. I'm pre-ordering it. I'm looking forward to that controller as well. So there's that. And then we have one final one. Ninja Golf, a classic, 30 bucks, swing and kick away at ninjas, duck whipping stars, pick up treasures, shoot for birdies, all part of a day's fun. And Ninja Golf par for course is leaving a trail of fallen enemies. So this game is really cool. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Quirky game. Golfing as a ninja and you're fighting stuff. It, uh, sweet. And then you fight a ninja at the or uh, you fight the dragon at the end. You're the ninja. You fight the dragon. How am I getting confused here? Slipping my words up. But this is all neat stuff. So pre-order availability right now is only on Atari. Um, and it states all these items, they all have the same shipping uh, time and the pre-order availability, which is May of this year. So still a few months away. They state pre-orders are considered final 30 days after the order date. So I guess that means you cannot cancel after 30 days. Like you ain't getting your money back. So you better be committed. You better be committed here. If you want all three, you know, games, hundred bucks plus the controller, twenty five bucks. You're you're looking at a little over a hundred, hundred, hundred fifteen dollars for the full set of stuff they put up for pre order. Um, I think this is a neat thing that they're doing. Not everybody's going to be into it, but could you imagine if Nintendo or Sega did this? Now I know emulation consoles, classic mini stuff's been out. But if they release like a, a console and then Nintendo re-releases cartridges of Super Mario 1, 2, and 3, I know, like, would the appeal be there? I think it would be greater for Nintendo or Sega than this stuff, honestly. That's just my opinion. Not to, you know, put off the, uh, the importance of Atari, but Nintendo and Sega just kind of, they took things to the next level. If those companies put out systems... Yeah, it's emulation like like this. If they did the same thing, emulation, but you pop in an original cartridge and it works, that would be badass. And then if they release new cartridges of old games, get Super Mario 1, 2, and 3, you know, Kirby's Adventure, whatever, right? For NES and Sega puts out a Genesis, you buy Sonic 1, 2, and 3, freaking Golden Axe, Fantasy Star, Streets of Rage. That would be cool, man. I, I, I mean, I think it would be, but, you know, everybody's going to have different opinion. Uh, based on this stuff, based on anything I said, no right or wrong answers. I, I like this. I like this. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.